Hi, AP Seminar students. In this video, we're going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the acronym Say, Mean, and Matter in order to analyze different texts for your interests of the week that are due every week. Now, sometimes the interest of the week, I'll ask you to do a Say, Mean, Matter analysis. Sometimes I'll ask you to do an argument analysis summary. So please keep in mind what I want you to do for those interests of the week. But I'm going to give you an introduction to Say, Mean, and Matter. Say, me and matter is a strategy that helps you break down a text. It allows you to question the text and its greater meaning. It allows you to search deeper into what the author is trying to say and, and the significance of that writing piece and making connections between that text that you're reading and your life. It's a way to more deeply understand a topic, an issue, and a text. So it's important to learn how to do this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make three columns. One column is going to be, be say, one will be mean, one will be matter. So let's just talk about what you write in each column. Now if you want to do this in a paper format or electronic format, that's fine. As long as it's graphically organized so that you can understand what the text says, what it means, and why does it matter. So here's the say column. This is a basic summary of the text. Tell me what is in the text, what is the general gist of it? What does it say or what happened? Now make sure that you do cite quotes from that text to summarize what's being said. Make sure you're paraphrasing from that text and make sure it's being cited. Not only does this practice citation skills that you'll need for the next two years in the capstone program, but also it's helping you out with future writing assignments. Now, the mean column is all about your interpretation of the text itself. So what do you think about the text? What does it mean when, when the author is talking about how poverty rates in urban centers are the largest contributors to crime? What makes you think that? Really the mean is your interpretation, your thoughts on the text. Now what these questions are asking you also to cite information. If you think that the author has a bias, then why do you think that? Identify that. If you believe that the author's analysis of solar power, power efficiency is good, well, how do you know that? What evidence do they cite? What other sources do they use? What data or statistics do they have? I really want you to critically look at what the author is saying. Now, the matter section is the implications of that text. What are the outcomes of this study or research? What were the results? How would that change our society or the world or your particular academic field? Here's some questions to think about as you're filling in the matter section. What does it matter to me and what does it matter to other people? How are the implications of that text going to influence either me or the people around me? Why is it important in your academic field or just in general? Why is this study, why is this text important? What's the significance of it? How does this contribute to the, if you're looking at a study on the efficiency of solar power, well, what, why is that significant in the context of global warming, of renewable energy, of non-renewable versus renewable energy? Why is this important in the grand scheme of the context? How does this connect to your own life? If you think solar power is efficient and your parents are thinking about getting some solar powers on their house, then yeah, that connects to your life. What does it matter to you? Why did you choose this? Why do you think it's important? Be reflective about why you're choosing that topic and what questions does this piece raise? As you are reading this, what are they missing? What do you want to know more about? How can you go deeper into this topic after reading that text? Now, I may want you, as you're doing your interest of the week, to do two means or two matters. I may ask you to look at a particular section of a text, but this is one way to organize and analyze a text. Hope you learned something you didn't know before. Thanks for watching.